Good morning, friends. It is Saturday morning and we're just lazing around. I'm on the couch with my tea. Doug's in the chair with his coffee. That's Lido. It's my sister's dog. More on that in a minute. Smalls is down there. I don't know where Ari is. She's probably still up in bed. Um, so here is our weekend. We actually have a lot to do. We're just kind of easing into it. It was a rough night last night, thanks to this guy. So my sister was having some friends over. Maureen, if you're watching this, don't tell her I'm writing her out. Um, okay, so I set, squirrel here. I set two alarms on my watch this morning so I would remember stuff and I didn't name them and they both went off and now I don't remember why. I know what the one was that just went off, but that's, I don't need to do it now, but I don't remember what the other one was. Yeah. Oh, well, hopefully I'll remember. Um, anyway, okay, so the story of Lido. My sister was having company last night for a little cocktail party. So she asked if we would keep the dog from like four to nine, four to 10, whatever, because he's old. He can't hear, he's deaf. He was never the best behaved dog to begin with, but he's lovable, so lovable. So I'm like, of course we'll keep him, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then yesterday afternoon I texted her, I'm like, why are you bothering picking him up at 10 o'clock? I mean, they live like 20 minutes away. I said, just leave him here overnight, you know, he's fine. So he came last night and for the first four hours, did nothing but bark and howl. Doug and I were gonna watch, catch up on a couple TV shows last night and all that. Nope. We tried, you know, walking, we tried sitting with him. We No, just howled and barked. So we gave up on the TV show and then um, Doug worked on our taxes for a little bit. Got him probably, what, three quarters of the way done? Yeah, he has to text, uh, our tax accountant friend with one question. Um, so we finally got him settled around 8.30. He came at 4.30. We finally got him settled down at 8.30. And my niece stopped to pick something up at 9 o'clock. <laughs> so here we go again. Another two hours of Lido howling and barking. I mean, I feel so bad for him. I am not complaining in the least. He, He's old. He's deaf. I mean, he's in good health pretty much now that they, you know, did like all the million dollar vet care back in December. He just was out of his element. I mean, he loves coming to our house usually, but he's just getting old. And I, I think he's got a little bit of dementia maybe. I'm not sure. So we finally got him resettled about 11, I guess. We went to bed. There was no TV show watching, nothing. And around 1.30, he started again. I don't know what set him off. You know, when we left him, he was sleeping on the couch. 1.30, he was up again. <laughs> Doug got up with him. Let him outside for a while. And, of course, woke Aria up. So she went outside with him, kind of took care of him. I, how long do you think it was? Like 45 minutes? What? At 1.30 this morning? No, no. Half hour. Half hour. So... Then he went to sleep and he did sleep all morning, so, or all night. And, you know, I came down early to do the chickens and he never woke up because he can't hear. So finally, I guess about a half hour I, after I got up, he got up and started the howling and the barking again, but I got him calmed down pretty quickly. So my sister's on her way now to pick him up. <sighs> so it was a long night. So we're just kind of chilling. Um, we're waiting until she picks them up and then I'm going to make breakfast. Um, we just listened to our Bible in a year. Doug's doing his morning deacon prayers. He's got homework to do all day today. He's got a lot of homework to do. He's got two papers to write. Um, the boys are on their way home. They'll be home in about two hours. I am going to spend some time in the kitchen. I need to make some bread. I need to... 
prepare the taco bar for poker night tonight. Um, we're going to five o'clock mass tonight. Poker. So, yeah, it's going to be a fun day. Uh, like I said, I'll be spending a lot of time in the kitchen. Um, just try. I, I want to get all that stuff ready. And I forgot to pull the meat out last night with all the commotion. So I need to get the meat thawed and get that cooked up. And just, you know, easy peasy taco bar, soft shells, hard shells, ground beef. I don't know if I'm going to do chicken yet. I'm not feeling the chicken today. So I probably won't. Lettuce, tomatoes, cheese. I'm going to make some guacamole. I have some avocados that need to be used up. So I'll make some guac. So it'll be fun. Looking forward to it. Cannot wait to see the boys. Cannot wait to see the boys. So that's the recap. Too long already. Yeah, six minutes. I'm going to go and I don't know what. Doug is having a whole bagel with cream cheese. It's probably about 12, 13 points, you know, almost my whole day with a scrambled egg and peppers. Me, not so much. My breakfast, that bagel looks so good. I just had to have one. So I'm having a half a one for five points. Eggs for zero personal points for me, two dippy eggs and three of the Jones's uncured Canadian bacon and three slices is one point. So I have a six point breakfast this morning. The minute this mama's been waiting for. I'm trying to get the best I can here out of the tour. My boys have pulled in the driveway. I am so stinking excited. Time to go out and see them. Oh my gosh, this door. This is what it's all about. This mama's heart is happy and life can go on now because all the ducks are in the pond. They're exhausted, but they're in the pond. I just wanted to share this happy mail with you. Thank you so much, Brandy. You know, I have been having an impossible time trying to get my favorite late July sea salt tortilla chips. Well, Brandy found them. Uh, there's a store near her work that has like an outlet-y type place that sells late July. They had the mother load, she said. So she sent me four bags of my favorite chips plus some Mexican string cor street corn flavored and some kettle popcorn. So Brandy, thank you so very much. I am so super excited about this and so sweet of you. I also want to thank my buddy Susan for sending me these adorable kitchen towels for Valentine's Day. They have been hanging on my dishwasher and stove, so they are in need of a good washing right now. Um, but I just wanted to show you those and give her a big thank you. I sat down to do a little work and Adam's computer was sitting here. There's the difference between a young man's computer and his stickers you know, all over the place, on top of each other, very random. And there's mom's computer. All the stickers placed very nicely and, you know, not overlapping each other and yeah. The things my children suck me into. Remember I said about I saw the um, stickers on Adam's computer, right. I showed you my stickers on my computer. Well, now we're on Redbubble buying stickers for our computers. I picked some Polish ones, some Ferris Bueller, Ferris Bueller ones, some Seinfeld ones. <gasps> Look for Downton Abbey. Okay. Doug picked a couple. Adam picked a couple. Now Andrew's going through. Oh, this is just my favorite. So the so. stuff we get sucked into. Should I, I be in the kitchen? I, I just, I, all I did was like, hey, I know you like stickers. Do you want to see my favorite stickers list? She was like, yeah, sure. And we're not even going to talk about what our total is so far. I literally looked so that far. up for you. I literally looked that up. You know, up. sometimes they complain about the chickens. But Adam's out there free-ranging with them. Okay. Now, do you do queso and red sauce? Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I actually... The first two cards were four and a five, and I actually called it before I even looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just... Face and flushes, nothing wild. <laughs> right. Ready? 
One, two, three, go. Third hand! It's the third hand that I'm one away from a straight every time. I, I, I didn't it's all yeah. yours, yeah. Adam. What was in there? Five dollars and sixty cents? Or more. Five, seven. No, it should have been six. Oh, that's right. Six, yeah. ten. Six, ten. Yeah. And you won how much off of daddy already? Five. Five, six. Five, sixty. Adam sits big tonight right now. And Adam's the one that called this stupid game. It's all me. No. You think that was stupid? Oh, Maybe gosh. One's coming in. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh we you know what? I played this at church the other day. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going one. well. Oh. No, you don't have to. Oh. That is. No. You don't? Yeah. I but you that is not going well. And this is only the second game we've played. This is not going well. No, it's not going well. That's going well. I see cash under there. That's going well. I see cash under there. That's going not well because... No, yeah. I see cash, cash under there. No, but that's a broken. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's broken. You're on. Gert! 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 Good Sunday morning, my friends. It is late Sunday morning. We have accomplished a lot already today. Up, oh, dressed, went to church. So good today. Oh, the sermon was so good today. Perfect, perfect, perfect for the beginning of Lent, in my opinion. I got so much out of it. Um, what else? We filmed our tag and now I am making brunch. Eggs, bacon, toast, that's brunch. And I have a lot of cooking to do today. I need to make a loaf of bread because, you know, the boys are home. Doug and I, it takes us a whole month or more to go through a loaf of bread. But with the boys home, we go through it much quicker. So I'm going to get a loaf of bread going. And dinner tonight is um, Amish style chicken pot pie. It's not hard. It's just time consuming. It's work because I make homemade noodles. I see somebody peeking around the corner. Yeah, because you were recording, so they don't want to like bother you. You're not. Oh, bother me? Come on. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, so here we go. You can see Andrew's mouth. If you can see Andrew, you can see my eyes. I'm short, and I have shoes on, and he doesn't. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I swear he gets taller every time he comes home. Um, but like I said, it's not hard to make. It's just a little time consuming because you make the homemade noodles and you stew the chicken and all that. But it's really not hard. And it's a favorite here. It's very high point, so we'll definitely keep breakfast low point. Um, but it's worth it. It's delicious. And sometimes you just eat the high point meal. You just work it in. That's what you do. And that's what I plan on doing today. So I am going to go get cooking, get breakfast, get these guys fed because I heard some stomachs growling during mass this morning. So we're going to get them fed. Okay, everybody is fed. So it is my turn. I have two eggs scrambled with sausage, with sausage and peppers, with peppers and onions. I have, and that's zero points for me. I did cook them in a little bit of bacon grease, but because I'm having the bacon, the grease is already counted. And yes, that's true. I checked with WW several times on that, and I only used a little tiny bit. So I have three points worth of bacon, two points worth of toast there. So I have a five point breakfast this morning, and I plan to thoroughly enjoy it. Okay, breakfast is done and dusted, and now we are starting on dinner. I have a whole chicken in the pot with some water, carrots, celery, onion, salt and pepper. I'm gonna let this cook, bring up to a boil, let it cook for about an hour, hour and a half. This will be the base of our pot pie. I'm gonna get started on the noodles. I do have a full cook with me on this recipe. I will link it in the I cards above and in the description box below. Okay, got the chicken cooking. Working on the noodles, I've got Half of the dough rolled out and cut. Yeah, I know they're not pretty, but guess what? They'll still taste good. Working on getting the other half of the dough rolled out so I can cut that and listening to my Bible in a year for today. So multitasking, getting it done. Still haven't made the bread. 
That may wait till tomorrow. We'll see. If you were really stuck on having pretty noodles, you could trim the edge or just roll it out better because see how beautiful the, the center noodles are? They're all perfectly straight and square and they look great, but I don't worry about that. Like I have raw edges on there and it's okay with me because they're going in the broth. They're gonna get cooked anyway and you're really not gonna notice. But if you do want beautiful noodles, just trim your dough or just roll it out a little bit better than I do. <sighs> I am feeling a little accomplished. The chicken is still in the pot stewing, but all the noodles are done. The kitchen is cleaned up. The eggs are collected. The boys are spending some brother time watching a movie. Doug is holed up doing some homework. He's got a pretty big paper to write, um, but he had to read a lot before he wrote the paper and the reading is so dry. <laughs> it's a little dry. Um, so I am sitting here getting ready to place an order for some Norwex supplies. Um, what else? Enjoying the quiet of the house until chaos ensues tomorrow when the babies come back. Um, and I'm texting with a couple subscribers, trying to keep two different conversations going at the same time without screwing that up, so. All in all, a wonderful, busy, productive morning. So I am just gonna sit here with my feet up, finish this order, and then I am going to work on my March menu a little bit because it's only about halfway done. I want to, um, I really wanna try to use a lot of my pantry staples down and really limit the grocery shopping. Um, just because I have the food in the house, I want to use it. So that's my plan. I bought like a five pound bag of quinoa. Haven't touched it. So my goal for March is to make quinoa. I made it one time. It did not come out well. I think I just, I think it was operator error. So I want to really try it again. So if you have any great tips on cooking quinoa, the easiest way to cook it, the better, please. Maybe Instant Pot, I don't know. Um, but I wanna use that up. And so yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Just try to really work from the pantry um, this month. So that's why it's taken me a little longer to do my March menu. After working on homework for about five hours, <laughs> he finally, descend it from the stairs so we decided to it's a pretty nice day so we decided to come outside and let the girls run around the yard a little bit get some good grass pecking and digging and scratching scratching and foraging in for a little bit while the broccoli roasts for dinner and then we will sit down to eat dinner and call it a night because i'm a little tired and I'm sure his brain is a little bit fried. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, sitting down to dinner tonight after chasing a chicken around the yard because she wouldn't go in. I have the chicken pot pie I made earlier. And this, what I did was I measured it out. I put my big serving bowl on the scale, measured it out in grams, then divided by six. And it was 431 grams for a serving. So it's a really big serving which is good because I'm hungry. So there is my chicken pot pie. And I also have some roasted broccoli and we also have some rolls. The kids love the Martin's potato rolls with this. I was gonna make my own potato rolls today and said, you know what? No, not doing it. So not sure if I'm gonna have one of those or not yet because I'd have to use some weeklies. But for now, this is 14 points for me. I know it's high, but I plan for it. Zero points for the broccoli. And that's dinner on this Sunday. We decided to eat in the dining room with the fancy china because why not? Uh, the worst part is all, all the dishes. These are just the dishes we ate off of. Everything else is pretty much put away, but yeah. Time to load the dishwasher, which I have no right to complain. I have a dishwasher, but you know, 
just a lot of dishes. Well, friends, that will end my weekend. It was a good weekend. Any weekend that my boys are home is a good weekend. And they are home until next Sunday. So hoping to do not a whole lot this week. It's just hard with, you know, they're home, but Doug and I are still working and Doug's got school and homework and he worked so hard today on his paper and probably is not even halfway done. Um, so he'll have to work on that a couple nights this week, but he definitely wants to spend some time with the boys too. They want to watch a movie or two with him. And then I think Saturday we are going to head down to the shore, go down to Ocean City, hang out in the arcade for a while. We have such a good time. Just, you know, like playing all the old games. Um, we'll get pizza and shore treats. So hopefully the weather will be nice and we can do that because that's the plan as of right now. Friday night we're playing poker again um, at my brother's. Saturday we'll go to the shore. So it should be a fun weekend. And then Sunday they go back. Womp womp. But... We will see Adam the weekend after because Grace is flying in um, to stay for the weekend. So Adam's coming home again um, to spend some time with her. So we'll at least see Adam. And depending on if we pick Adam up or if he drives home, we'll see Andrew when we take him back. So get to see a lot of my boys. And then outdoor track season will be starting. So hopefully we can hit a couple of those. So hopefully some fun and busy weekends ahead but that is it for this weekend i am going to get this uploaded edit it and processed and i think doug and i are going to try to we usually on sunday nights try to watch an episode of the chosen and try to watch an episode of the gilded age so we'll see if we can manage to fit that in tonight before we completely fall asleep. So thank you so much for spending your weekend with me. I appreciate that you take time out of your busy lives to watch my videos and spend it with me. It means the world to me. And if you haven't already subscribed, you know the deal. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, all that good stuff that makes YouTube recognize my videos just a little bit more. Have a great great week everyone and i will see you probably in a tuesday tag next